I've been looking forward to this film for quite some time and as Tried and Refused Productions does any interview the naysayers arrive out of nowhere to talk about how I've been bought and my objectivity will be going for a toss and how I've become a shill of the film industry only being a spokesperson for their vested interest Social media chatter aside the creators behind Attack really had me stoked as the action genre of Bollywood was getting a much needed change rather than the incessant additions to popular franchises like Baghi and Commando Attack presents a concept utilized in many films over several decades but needs deserved respect for integrating it into a Hindi film storyline and presenting it to the masses as the concept of AI being utilized in combat or warfare is something that only a few are privy to unless they have seen ventures like RoboCop and how a human if incorporated with the right technology can be the best serving human capital one can think of or oh, the most common one that a lot of people talk about the Jean-Claude Van Damme film Universal Soldier in which soldiers during combat or war get fatally injured are put in cryogenic chambers and revived to become perfect soldiers that obey their commands only to realize that their memories fade in and out trying to grapple and come to terms with who they were before they became cyborgs there are many parallels that you can create with this film but i think the most accurate of a comparison especially after watching the movie and how arjun interacts with ira the ai placed in his body is the 2018 film upgrade in attack arjun goes through a traumatic event that makes him paralyzed from the neck down only for him to opt to be a test bunny basically for the super soldier program that is greenlit by the government Arjun and the AI seem to be a perfect match and when the past comes haunting back to cause havoc in India's national security specifically an attack that is targeted at the Indian parliament our very own super soldier can come save the day here's me telling you the good and bad aspects of the film so that you guys can ultimately decide whether to watch it in theaters or not action set pieces there is absolutely no doubt about the fact that this film's biggest strength has to be its action set pieces even though my biggest gripe with the film was that there were excessive jump cuts in most of the combat sequences you could genuinely not look at a frame for more than 3 seconds as it would change perspectives and angles almost at a rapid pace but there are many set pieces that imbibe what the teaser and trailer of the film promised us all The opening set piece that showcases a covert mission being executed in Pakistan is brilliantly choreographed, giving you an idea of what you are signing up for almost immediately. As you may notice throughout the film, many of the set pieces are beat by beat choreographed with the background score, a creative route taken that actually enhances many of the sequences. There is a Nehru place sequence in which Arjun basically is trying out his new functions work in real time and even though I was terribly excited for the same the sequence only shines in moments especially when there's a 360 degree running shot Again, the excessive number of jump cuts almost take away from the complexity of the action sequences. The best moments in the film undoubtedly are when Arjun and Ira reboot to annihilate every threat within the parliament. Another beautiful synergy of background music and action choreography that has to be the highlight of the movie. That is one sequence everyone was looking forward to and it delivered tenfold. romance and emotional connection many of the comments under this video will talk about how we signed up for a no nonsense action film so we couldn't care less about the romantic storyline but the problem is that the film attempts to create an emotional thread for arjun even as he is in the thick of things with respect to the mission at hand so essentially from a storytelling pov This needs to work well. Sadly, the romantic relationship between John and Jacqueline is generic and surface level at best. I understand Lakshraj Anand's attempt in not wanting to waste the time of the audience in the theater, but in the same process he rushes the first half so much that you barely feel a connection that Arjun has for Jacqueline's character. The attempt by the creator is because Arjun is in a constant flux. How his memories blur the line between his subconscious and conscious mind and for this to truly connect with the audience the relationship should be something that we are invested in but that is not the case at all their awkward first kiss the filmy dialogues like ye zindagi ruk sakti hai ye safar nahi and the abrupt nature with which ik tu hai establishes them being in love it's all too fast if you look at the action films like force the pain that yash feels when he loses maya or the relationships already established in uri with major karan kasha played by mohit raina all of these account for great setups that make us mourn with the characters whereas in this case laksh through his screenplay rushes the sequences far too fast for us to deeply connect with the relationship 
the music Shashwat Sajdev is one of the most talented individuals in this film industry and there are no two ways about it. The man and his process is something that I've seen in the flesh and the meticulous detailing that he goes through with each venture is something so admirable. The man has created many bangers for this film and they fit the high exhilarating sequences of this movie so well. I have to say though that the movie doesn't really go in the deep trenches to fully utilize his unique album in its screenplay because it could have elevated a lot more scenes tenfold but the transformation of the super soldier as Mena Tutna plays in the background had me fully pumped. I wish Chal Hart was in some way placed in several of the action sequences because it became my instant favorite but the combination of Crazy Now and John beating up the bad guys in the parliament accounted for such a badass marriage of artists. Watch out for this man because he truly understands the vibe of films and channelizes it through his music. Generic dialogues and characters. There are many moments in this film that made me roll my eyes for the way in which these characters were portrayed and came across as unintentionally funny. This is one of the few times I've actually seen Prakash Raj ham his way through a film. The man is in constant distress and has several moments where he becomes hilariously emotional or aggressive. The worst out of the lot has to be the acting prime minister played by Rajat Kapoor, who is the most incompetent self-serving individual you will find in this movie. He actually sticks out like a jarring character rather than feeling like a part of the film. It almost seemed as if just to force some gags in the narrative this character was forcefully placed in the screenplay. He sips his tea, thinks about his next tweet, reprimands everyone in his direction and says dialogues like "Fojio ka josh kuch zyada hi high ho gaya hai." The character in a no nonsense action film like this just seemed unnecessary and bummed me out because it's an otherwise entertaining film. refreshing change in the action genre what i absolutely love about this film is that there is not a celebration of the main lead that is john abraham but the concept of ai being put to practical use when it comes to combat i never thought that john overweighed the narrative of this film and actually the central theme of the concept of a super soldier put to use in combat was the prime focus this is a refreshing change in the action genre in bollywood where the storylines mostly depend on a list actors and the film often becomes a celebration of their image rather than catering to the story john is extremely adept in the action sequences and these are the kind of concepts that you would want a star like him to back I also have to say that Rakul Preet Singh is quite commendable in her role but Ratna Patak Shah even in a small stint as Arjun's mother really leaves a lasting impression. Arjun breaking down as he feels completely incompetent in protecting his mother accounts for one of the most emotional and best scenes from the movie. The attempt by the makers of Attack to create a high octane no nonsense stylized action film only works partly because of its capable action set pieces and a soundtrack that will be remembered for a long time. Even though John Abraham is a capable vessel that leads the charge but just because the premise of the film is a high concept film that is novel in the hindi space that doesn't mean i should oversell it to you by saying that it will blow your socks off it's not mind blowing but only a praiseworthy attempt that has many narrative flaws and my only hope is that it can give wings to other creators to identify the mistakes tweak it a bit and work around new age concepts like this and bring us more exciting action projects probably part 2 of attack if green lit would be that and that was a video guys write down in the comments below what you thought about the movie please don't forget to follow me on instagram the handle is right in front of you follow me at jammy pants4 also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching